Hi guys and welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to create your own avatar using Leonardo AI. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and if you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And now let's dive right in. So here, what we're going to do first is we're going to simply open our browser and first go to Leonardo AI. And we are going to simply scroll down onto the images here below to look for an inspiration. So say for example, we would like to have this image as an inspiration for our avatar. So simply select on it. And what we're going to do once the avatar has loaded is that we're going to simply copy the prompt of this um, person or this character basically. And afterwards, uh, we also need to take note of the model that was used in creating this avatar. Now, next step that we are going to do once we have copied the prompt is go to the left-hand section. Under user tools, you can actually see AI image generator or generation. So there, you just need to simply paste in the um the one in the box and hit on generate afterwards now after that you can actually see that the image are already generating but basically we need to also take note and change the um, model according to the one that we have had a while ago because it will result into this one which is not we're expecting actually as our model so here, we're going to simply click on the fine-tune model section and I'm going to change this from R RPG 4.0 to Dream Shaper 3.2 and I'm going to simply click on generate afterwards still. Now, what we're going to do next is again wait for the generation to be loaded. And there you have it. So we have two results that are actually very pretty. So I'm going to use this one where this avatar is having a front view. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to simply download this one. But you could also upscale this if you would want to make it a better picture and whatnot. But as for me, I'm already good enough with this one. So I'm going to download this. Alright, so once the photo has been downloaded, let's go to the next step. So here you could also go to 11 Labs. Here in 11 Labs, you could actually, um, you know, your audio, make your own audio and also choose a voice that you would like to have for your avatar. Now, next step is we're going to go to Canva and I'm going to simply upload the image that we have created from our Leonardo. And afterwards, we are going to use our design and customize the size of our um, avatar right here. And there, let's create the new design. And basically, it will route us to our editing page section. Let's just wait for the photo to be generated by our blank canvas right here. And there you have it. Now, what we're going to do is we're simply going to click on the image and hit on edit photo in the upper right hand or left hand corner rather. And then afterwards, here you can actually see under tools, background remover. So we're going to click on that one. Basically, this is only available for Canva Pro users. So if you do not have a Canva Pro account and if you're using the account um, for free, then you could also go to background or uh, remove.bg where you can actually remove the background of your photo. Uh, the same as the background remover tool here at Canva. All right. And there you have it. So it's not the perfect kind of um, background remover, but it's already good enough. So some hairs were deleted in making or in the process of um, 
editing this one but i'm already good with this now what we're going to do next is that we're going to click on the share button here in the upper right hand corner of our canva all right so now let's download the photo you can use the png or jpeg style it depends on you and then once downloaded we're going to continue the process and this time we're going to try to generate a video already of the person talking all right okay now let's go to studio.did.com where we are going to create our video and upload the avatar that we have so to upload your own audio you can click on the audio here in the um, left hand corner or the right hand corner rather and then simply upload your audio file now next here in the circle below you can actually see add click on that button or that circle that has plus add and then there your um, avatar will be added there so we're going to click on generate video afterwards in the upper right hand corner and then this box will pop out and just simply click on generate here below So there, and there you have it. So we have already successfully created our avatar. And if you are still starting with DID or Studio DID, then you can actually have 20 credits as a starter. And once all 20 credits are consumed, you need to upgrade your plan to the paid account already. And this is our end result. Now, let's download the video this time. Alright. So, once the video has been downloaded, what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to Canva. And here, we're going to add a new page. So, here in the new page, we're going to simply upload our... Um, video that we have created in studio did with the avatar talking and also moving its mouth already so i'm going to upload this video already and simply drag it onto the blank page here in our canva so as you can see our background is actually black and we don't want to have a black background for this so what i'm going to do is we're going to simply remove the background first okay so to do that what we're going to do is to click on edit video here in the upper left hand corner of the menu bar and then after that we're going to click on background remover now once you've clicked on background remover you just need to wait for the video to be generated or to load and there you have it our background has been removed okay now this is just an additional thing that you can also do with your um avatar so if you would like to add some elements here or if you would want to have a background then you can actually do that by going to the element section and looking for an element or a background that you would want to have so say for example i want something enchanting for this um avatar that i have right here so i actually tried using the video but it does not work out for me so i just did not push through it and it's better to use a image instead of a video that is in my experience here with using canva all right, so now, since the video did not work out for me, I'm going to look for a fairy-like, um, you know, enchanting still background. And there, I'm going to use this one. So for Canva free users, there are only a limited pictures that you can actually use with the element section. So if you would like to have this kind of photo but is actually in the pro account, then you can actually look for other, um, you know, websites that offer like free, free designs or free photos. And then you can use that onto your um, 
editing the background. Alright, and there. Let's download the video. Make sure that it is in the MP4 video format. And afterwards, we are going to take a look and take a peek as to how it looks like at the end of the video. Alright? So basically, those are the easy steps on how you can create an avatar using Leonardo AI. And I hope that in this tutorial, you have learned something. And also, before we end up this video, I'm going to show you how it looks like and the final result of our avatar. So here, let's just wait for it to be downloaded. So here's the final result. Hi, welcome to the world of Encantadia. Come and let me take you to our world. And basically, world. that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you find this tutorial helpful.